network scan, you can use NetDiscover, which is a discovery tool built into Kali Linux to scan a range of IP addresses for the target network. The following command should do the trick. And this command does require root privileges. And I'm going to proceed with the sudo command. This command will return all live hosts on a given IP range. In this particular case, our IP range is 10.0.5.0 slash 24. Uh, this is akin to white testing because we've got um, knowledge of the network we're targeting as opposed to black or gray testing. I ran this command earlier and uh, here's the output. Uh, it's very limited in, in its output. Essentially, it just um, identify the IP addresses of live hosts on the network and their equivalent MAC address. Uh, that's why I prefer this command to CMAP, which is very, very detailed in its output right now. All we need is just the live host on the network. The network scan is complete. Uh, we've identified all the live hosts on the network. Our host of interest is 10.0. 5.7. This is the IP address of the vulnerable machine that we will be targeting IMET Exploitable to. We can confirm that's the correct IP address by bringing up the interface from Metasploitable 2 and then entering the, the following command if config. And there you have it, it confirms that that's the correct IP address. The next thing to do is to carry out a scan of our host of interest from our, our attack system that is Kali Linux, uh, in order to identify the open port as well as the services and version on those ports, we will be using Nmap uh, as a security scanner. Um, the command that we're going to be using is the following. Uh, this command requires root privileges. And um, let's run it. When you start a port scan from Nmap without specifying the port range, then Nmap will scan only the first thousand ports which are considered to be the most important as you can actually see in this command we're targeting virtually every single port from 0 to 65,535 by using this particular flag and uh, this is the flag for the version scan and this is to determine um, the, the operating system and this command could take a while um, I ran it earlier and here's the output for uh, there, there's the output for it really. So it's very detailed and comprehensive, and um, that's the reason why it requires elevated privileges in order to be able to run it. So the MAP ports and service scans returns a lot of open ports, listening services, and the version of the operating system. The target host, as you can see, is running a Linux 2.6.9 to 2.6. 0.33 as uh, as operating system. We can also see that the the target is running uh, an SSH service on port 23. It gives us a version as well. Um, we've also, we can see that we've got a telnet service running on a target and uh, an, an Apache web server on port 80. We've also got two SQL servers. Um, I think we've got MySQL there and Postgres. And we've got so much more services. I mean, there's quite a lot of open services. That's not, that's not good, really. So unless it's necessary, they should, they should all be closed. Now, let's enumerate uh, users um, on, on a target machine. Um, in order to do it, we will be using um, a particular Nmap script. Um, it's a Samba in um, user script. Um, we'll be running the script using the following command. And uh, this command, obviously, um, it, uh, it uses the, the Nmap scripting engine um, in order to, to perform it. And you can actually see it's targeting port 445. Um, it's, it's an open port that was identified earlier and it's running um, Samba services. Um, on it. So if we run this command, as you can see, there are a lot of usernames on the Metasploitable machine. Amongst them are a lot of service accounts. Um, 
as well as uh, the admin account which is named um, MSF admin. This pretty much sums up a reconfers of a host of interests made exploitable too. Um, in the next phase, we're going to try to look at exploiting um, the open ports that we've identified in the previous phases.